That's right, Marcy. The community of Progressive voted in two college students this weekend to serve on the Progressive ISD school board, hoping that the two will bring in a new fresh perspective to a district rocked by scandal. Over the past two years, Progressive ISD has made headlines for all the wrong reasons. In 2013, the school board president was implicated in a bribery scandal and sentenced to more than six years in federal prison. Last year, a school board member was charged for drug smuggling after police found more than 1,000 pounds of marijuana in a semi-trailer. Now a new generation is taking their place on the school board. On Saturday, progressive voters elected 21-year-old Alejandro Alaniz and 19-year-old Luis Lopez to fill place 6 and place 7 on the Progresso ISD school board. Studying music education at UTB, 2012 Progresso high grad Alejandro says the board needs members who know what it's like to be a 21st century student. We're very young and we bond very well with the students. Um, people in the, in the high school still know, know who we are. Now studying business at UTPA, 2014 Wesleyco East grad Luis Lopez says he felt like his friends who attended Progresso High School didn't receive the help they needed to prepare for college. I would explain to them what I wanted to do in college, but when I asked them, they seemed confused and overwhelmed of what they should do with their lives. With a cousin enrolled in Progresso High School, Lopez says he's fully invested. I'm more enthusiastic now. I mean, got to help him out. I got to help his class. The two young board members understand the community didn't trust the board, which is why they want to be more approachable. We'll, we'll listen to them. I mean, give us their, their ideas and just complain, like just complain and we'll, we'll try to figure things out. I mean, that's the best way we'll, uh, better the community. Alejandro and Luis will assume their duties as school board members next Monday. Reporting in Progresso, Brett Crandall, Action 4 News.